All right, January 15. So we're getting deeper into the month and um, I'm excited to kind of come to you mid month because if you remember when we started looking at these a couple of weeks ago, what we were watching is the tremendous amount of properties that left the market. Now, I was under the impression they left the market um, due to clerical error or it wasn't necessarily strategy. It was people that had their listings to the end of the year. Maybe they were gonna revisit it and then most of them would come back onto the market, okay? Also felt like it was gonna be a little bit slower time coming into this uh, first part of the year. So let's see what the numbers are saying, right? That's why we do this. I've heard so many conversations. I mean, if you, if, if you line up and talk to 20 agents right now, I mean, it's, it's such a wide variety. I and mean, I had somebody this morning, we've been busy, I had somebody this morning say, man, ice cold out there, huh? So it's it's, Depends on who you're talking to and what's going on, but that's why we love the numbers. Let's see what the numbers are saying, and then we'll tie it back into everything. All right, so here we go. So this is over the weekend. Again, we give a 72 hour window into the week that was, and we feel that's indicative of the week it was, okay? For everybody just joining us. So it's a good time to join us, new year. Let's see what's happening. So over the weekend, new listings, 70. That's big. For those of you that have been watching for a little while, when's the last time you heard me say 70 new listings over a time period? I bet, honestly, I can't remember. I know we've creeped up into the high 50s, you know, um, but 70 is a big number. So let me say this, I'm gonna circle back again on this in a minute. I think this is more to do with people kind of, it expired at the end of the year, bringing this on as a new listing. Could be wrong, but I like trends. That's a very high number especially for this time of year when a lot of people are kind of resting, you know, kind of getting ready for spring. But let's see what's happening out there. So 70 new listings, what's going on with under contract? 35 new contracts. That's big. Now, here's what I'm disappointing in. We talk about that ratio. You know, we were doing like 50 new listings and 25 new contract, so this 70 and 35 is right on par with that ratio. I think that my guess is, I think the new listings are a little bit inflated because it's those expired ones that are coming back onto the market. So I think that pended ratio to the actual inventory is actually higher. I think we're having a rush of new contracts. We haven't had 35 under contract in this little window that we normally look at week by week in some time, probably back to October. If there's a fact checker out there, I would love for you to come back through and let me know. But 35 in the second week in January, for me is highly encouraging, okay? That's an encouraging number. Honestly, I thought it would be slower than that. I think there's some variables in that, we'll get back to it in a minute. Close 13, I get it. Everybody tried to close up by the end of the year and then the ones that didn't, they spill over into the next week. So that's the business written like late November, December, you guys were watching, you know what that looks like, right? So closings being 13, that's of no consequence to me, all right? Let's look at price changes, 43. Honestly, it's a little lower, guys. So especially on that ratio, new listing 70, price changes 43. Now I get that, I'm not doing a lot of price changes right now, or I wasn't planning to, because strategically didn't know how many eyeballs were actually gonna be looking at. You know, like you want to throw something out there as a price change that's going to have some impact, okay? But is now the impact time? So let's let's talk about that. Like here's here's what here's what I'm going to say to you across the board. You can tell I'm a little bit excited, but what I'm going to say to you is here's my message on this halfway through January. Too early to tell. I like patterns. I like threes. Okay. We got back to back weeks of inflated new listings, in my opinion, for January. Now, if it goes another week, I think we're getting out of that habit of just putting things back on the market that went expired, okay? If the pendings are up again, that's trend. We had more last week. We got more this week. If I can come to you next Monday and our pendings stay up there, we're on to something. And we're on to something that I would not have predicted for coming out of the gates in January. And I don't think many in the market would have, but I'm feeling it. Like we're busy, we're showing, we're answering questions, we're writing new contracts. So it's out there. So I like it. I like the trend right now. Okay. So too early to tell. I think next week, here would be my prediction. The new listings go down. I think we go from 70 to like the mid thirties. I think the price changes kind of hold in that forties range. 
What I'd love to see is that the pending property stay up in the 30s. That's what I'm watching for, okay? Like that's what I'm waiting to see, all right? Let's take a look at these closings. Let's see if there's anything, I don't wanna say fun, but you guys like the bigger numbers. Let's see what's out there. Um, here we go, off market sale, Water Sound Beach. Yeah, this one happened quick, 5.95 million, 2014 house, I know this location, fantastic house, off market. $1,300 a foot, 5.95 in Water Sound Beach. That just happened. And then we had a closing in Alice Beach on new construction. Um, that one went under contract, just, to, just so you know how that runs in Alice Beach. Here's a, great, here's a great Alice Beach anecdote, okay? This one went under contract in February of 2022, and it's closing now. So that's $1,500 a foot. So they negotiated that price two years ago just now closing for 5.75. So when you look at the comps on that location, it's probably a really good deal for that, that buyer to lock that in two years ago based on what's trending in Alice, right? It's hard to say that 5.75, wow, in case you say that's a deal, well, it looks like to me, they locked in some pre-construction, they locked in some pre-construction pricing based on when they went under contract. That would be my bet. I had to check with Robbie to verify that, but that's what I'm seeing here based on that price per square foot. But all in all, great sell for everybody involved, right? So anyway, good start. I'm excited, was not expecting this many pending. Um, in other news, we're in freeze warning tonight. It's gonna get down to like 25, 26 degrees. I know the rental companies are out making sure everybody's gonna be, uh, there's not gonna be any freezes, any explosion of those uh, outdoor showers that we saw last Christmas, but um, it's cold time, but the market seems to be warming up. So anyway, we're bringing you lots this week. We got several things we're gonna do, so watch out for that. As always, if we can help you with anything, let us know. Can't wait to come to you next Monday to see if we're actually building a trend. Talk to you then.